Guys, we're making mini bagel pizzas on my Ninja Foodie Grill. Coming up. This is Cooking with CJ, the show about cooking, drinking, barbecue, and all the other stuff that goes along with it. I am not a chef. I am not a bartender. I am not a pit master. But I play all three on TV. I'm going to show you how to make quick, easy, tasty recipes and have a little bit of fun along the way. So let's get this party started. What's up, guys? Welcome to Cooking with CJ. I'm CJ, and if you're a returning subscriber, and I know there's a lot of new ones, but you're part of CJ's crew now, you know I love you. And if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that red subscribe button, the bell next to it. Hit that bell. Make sure you fully click the bell. <laughs> hit that bell so you get the alerts on all what we're doing here, all the Ninja Foodie grill goodness that we got going on. Make sure you uh, get the notifications, all right? And you do that by hitting that bell. So what are we doing here today? We are making little pizza bagel bites, all right? Now these aren't quite the, the bite size ones, they're a little bit bigger, so it maybe take one or two bites to get through these. But I have little mini bagels that we got just from the grocery store. And we have some uh, uh, pizza sauce, got a little cheese, uh, got a little pancetta. I mean, you got everything you need for a nice, little itty bitty bagel pizza all right the kids love these but i'm like a big kid i love anything that the kids love you know, i eat the chicken nuggets <laughs> this is what we call our bomb shelter right here this is all you know our pantry we have it packed to the gills and you know what any kid item in there has my name on it all right any kind of the the cereals the the stuff they put in their lunches I'm going after them. All right, so I don't know where I had to, why I had to share that with you, but hey, you know a little bit more about CJ now. Uh, I like kid food. All right, <laughs> so I'm gonna love making these little mini pizzas on the bagels. All right, so just that easy. Few ingredients. They're gonna take no time at all. Everything we're gonna put on these little bagel pizzas are, is already cooked. All right, so you don't have to spend a lot of time cooking this. You're just kind of putting it together and getting it brown and crispy, all right? So we're gonna get you over on the counter. We're gonna set this thing up, preheat the foodie grill, and we'll we'll make magic with these little pizzas, all right? Come on back. All right, guys, we're back. We got some, just some jarred pizza sauce over here. Got some shredded mozz, and we got a little prosciutto that I, uh, that I fried up, all right? So you guys can use whatever meat you want. This is what we had handy. So I'm gonna go ahead and use it, all right? Like, I know everybody likes pepperoni and sausage, you know the normals, but a little bacon or prosciutto, never hurt anybody. Okay, let's get this thing started. We're gonna turn it on and we're gonna preheat. We're gonna do the max on high and get the preheat start, real easy to do. Um, then we're gonna build these up real quick. Um, I doubt that this is gonna take more than about five minutes. The bottoms of these will get nice and browned up and grilled up. The tops will get nice, nice uh, color to it based off of the you know the heat coming from the top, and uh, we'll be eating these things real quick. While this is preheating, I did forget that I've got some Italian herbs, little uh, combo grinder here. I'm just gonna grind over the top. All right, let's build these up real quick. And the good thing about pizzas is you can build it any way you want. You can put as much sauce as you want. You can f <laughs> whatever toppings you like. <laughs> All right, so I'll throw this out there. Pineapple. Pizza topping or no? Put in the comments down below. What do you think? Is pineapple a pizza topping? Tell me what you think. I personally am not a fan. And guys, if a little bit gets over the side, and a little bit of sauce goes over the side, you know, we ain't hurting nobody. We could always clean up the board. Just adding a little extra flavor to the bagels. You know, it's funny, you can you can spend a grip of money on these in the frozen food section of your uh, market, or you can have some fun and make them at home, do them yourself. Most people have simple ingredients in their, uh, you know, you can even use like uh, pasta sauce, a little marinara from the, the jar if you want. All right, let's put that there. All right, I'm gonna take a little of these, a little of this pancetta, and just, you know, sprinkle it around. And again, if it doesn't land perfectly, you know, 
The world is not coming to an end. Now, personally, and I don't know how people feel about this, but I'm a fan of black olives on my pizza. So when I get a pizza, you know, from you know your local delivery company, I will get it with black olives, sausage, and bacon if I'm feeling frisky. All right. So let's get this out of the way real quick. Get our cheese up here. And I like a cheesy bagel bite. Well, I like cheesy anything, I guess. <laughs> Again, once we get these in there, it's going to take no time at all. And, and, and play with these guys. These bagels are straight from the market, you know, uh, where you get your bread. You know, it's not like they're special bagels from the deli or anything like that, although you could use them. But this is, this is uh, yeah, no big deal. Real fun, really easy to do. Real quick, quick lunch, quick dinner. Uh, so let's get some of these uh, Italian herbs and seasonings on top. It's kind of a little handy dandy little grinder thing. It's pretty cool. What does it have in it? Let's see here. Rosemary, black pepper, and red pepper, garlic, onion, sea salt, tomato, and parsley dehydrated. So all the good stuff you want on your deal. All right. These are ready to go. We will put them in the Ninja Foodie Grill when it's done preheating. So come on. All right, team. We're at our add food stage. Let me use my handy-dandy Shark Ninja tongs that they sent with this. <laughs> put it in there ever so slightly obviously guys there's gonna be some meltage from the cheese and guys look at this you could fit oh hell, you could probably fit three or four more in here but I'm not that hungry right now just making these for me real quick all right here's the thing about this right here okay um, we're gonna shut it down and we're gonna check it every couple minutes I only think this is gonna take maybe five minutes we're gonna check it every couple minutes. All right, we don't want this to burn in there. We don't want the cheese to get burned. We want it brown, golden, delicious, not burned. The same with the bottoms. We'll check the bottoms too. The good thing about this Ninja Foodie Grill is you can lift the lid and it stops, you know, the airflow, obviously. All right, so let's check this out. I'm gonna shut it down and we'll let it go about two minutes and check it. Okay, we're two minutes in. Looking good, it's melting really nice. No issues, no burning yet. <laughs> Not that I think it's gonna burn, but let's check it out. Let's look at the bottoms. All right, no big deal, looking good. Okay, another couple minutes, come on back. All right, we're about four and a half minutes in. I'm calling these done. I mean, it's, if you'd like it a little bit more done, feel free to do it the way you do it. Oh, fumble. these plated up we'll do a little taste test and uh, get this thing done all right come on all right guys we're back those look good tell me they don't look good we'll pull them right out of there I got one right here I'm gonna give it, give it the old taste test mm. <laughs> you know it's good <laughs> the bagel is crunchy but chewy Right, that's a good bagel should be. The tart sauce, gooey cheese, and a little bit of smoky pancetta. Very, very tasty. There's no reason why you guys can't do this yourself. Go to the market, get the ingredients. I'll put a list of the ingredients below. But as with any pizza, you make it your own, right? So whatever you like on your pizza, pow, you can do it in the Ninja Foodie Grill. All right. If you guys would like to get a Ninja Foodie Grill, as always. The link below in the description and i'll pin it to the comments it goes in our amazon store doesn't cost anything more to you it just helps out the channel okay uh cooking with cj merch again is down below everything's down below and if you want to become part of cooking with cj's patreon crew click this link right here it'll take you over there little sub monthly subscription service 
a little bit helps out the channel and uh, we do a little certain extra perks over there that you don't quite get on YouTube okay check it out that's it guys this was a good one it was a quick one I know you love it thanks for stopping by thanks for coming with CJ take care